And we've been making it rain here at Ryerson University today. So what are the chances that I can hit a fadeaway jumper in my skinny jeans and dress shoes? Oh my goodness, I'm two for two. I'm two for two if you're watching earlier. I think Lindsay Dunn, I think she is due. And nope. Oh, that was close. That was that was maybe a little better than earlier. It's all right, oh. Lindsay. Thank you for playing along. Obviously, last oh. night we witnessed something a lot more special than Lindsay and I's game on the hard court. It was the first time in NBA playoff history that a series, a game has been decided with a buzzer beater. So if you're like us, you probably watched the replay of the ball bouncing around the rim again and again. And it got us to thinking, what were the chances of that shot actually going in? So we went and spoke with statistics guru Jeffrey Rosenthal at UFT to find out the crazy odds. Looks at the clock, turns a corner for the win! What are the chances of that shot hitting? Yeah, so it was a pretty incredible thing, as everyone in Toronto knows. And uh, I guess I'd say, first of all, you know, if you want to break it down, you can say that how many series, playoff series, have seven games is only about 25%. So there's only about one chance in four that a given series is even going to go to seven games. Okay. But meanwhile, the buzzer beaters, that's pretty amazing. There's only about 1% of games which end in a buzzer beater. So when you put that together, that means the chance that you'll have a... NBA playoff series that'll go to seven games and will end in the seventh game by a buzzer beater is about one chance in 400, wow. or about one quarter of 1%. And that's not even getting into a shot which bounces four times off the rim as it goes in. So as a, as a sports fan, as a Torontonian, as a Raptors fan, wherever you are in the country, there's lots of reason to be excited because, as you just said, one in 400 chances. Yeah, it was incredible. And as I say, the fact that the shot actually was such a crazy shot that bounced four times that went in, that just adds to it. So it's just an incredible day all around. People are going to say, well, Kawhi, you know, he'd hit that shot more than one every 400 times. But just simply by the amount of games that go to sevens and the number that actually go to a buzzer beater like that, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, well, I mean, of course, uh, the chance is partially whether you get to that point that you actually do have your chance to hit a buzzer beater in the seventh game. That's part of it. But also, I did look up, too, and actually of the NBA games when people attempt buzzer beaters, there's only a bit less than one chance in five that they actually hit them. Now, of course, some of that's because sometimes they're shooting from the other end of the floor or whatever, right? So it's like, like a desperate final shot. This one was pretty desperate. Too. It hits the rim once. It hits the rim <laughs> twice. Yeah. It hits the rim three times, four times. What are the chances of that and the ball going in? It was incredible. I mean, I don't have actual numbers for how many times it bounces, but having watched some basketball games, I can say it's very rare that a ball bounces four different times on the rim. It was such a high arcing off balance shot, and it bounced almost straight up, and that it was just incredible. I think that hardly ever happens, never mind for a Game 7, bu a game seven buzzer beater. So the probability, almost zero. Uh, yeah, well, I certainly I don't think it's going to happen again in our lifetimes.